Ruth here, and this is the cute collecting box. Um, you see, presenting, I can't even read, the Wizarding Trunk presents the cute collecting box. This is from the, uh, the Potter Collector on YouTube and Instagram. That is Dr. Fragical Delivery. And that's that. Side. And magical post on this side. So I'm gonna do it on the floor because currently my desk is full and I got a duvet and some other stuff for my chair. So on the floor I'm recording. So, well, you know, why not? Right? <laughs> also, since my sister's here right now, I don't have to be mindful of how quiet I am because I don't like being listened to or overheard when I'm talking, making videos. It's just awkward. I just got to keep collecting on the inside. So, little sneak peek. Most likely you, any of you have already probably seen this. Um, because I'm a bit late in opening this. I mean, it came in at the end of January, or around February or something. It's the beginning of March right now. I've been busy. Because I was recording other stuff first. Because, like, they came before this one, and, you know. But anyway, here we have... Nice. Uh, this is the, uh... The crest they've, they've got going for all of the the entire thing here. So uh, let's see. It's a uh, um, message here. Uh, presenting your keep collecting box. The moment has finally arrived. But please remember to feed and water your owl before sending it on its journey. Speaking of journeys, the Wizarding Trunk and Potter Collector began collaborating this box in February of 2020. Because we believe that character traits are of utmost importance, we sketched, planned, designed, selected colors, tested fabrics, and searched for the materials and makers to bring you a character trait filled box. Now that's a long sentence with lots of commas in there. But <laughs> anyway, uh, it is wonderful to see ideas come to life. Character, character, character. What more can I say about character? It matters. When all else fades, only your character remains. Each practical, presentable, and perfectly polished item in this box represents a house and a trait for which that house is valued. Thank you to the Wisdom Trunk crew for their steadfast mission of quality, excellence, and integrity in every process and product. My grateful heart goes out to the creative and hilarious roundtable brainstorming crew of Tim, Andrew, Nicole, Michael, and Thomas. Kudos to Danny at Wizardry Workshop for his masterful skills in transforming concepts into graphic designs. And this resounding appreciation is for you as the Potter Collector community members, Wizarding Trunk subscribers, and fans of the Boy Wizard. You have modeled a contagious sense of yeah. Uh, patience, kindness, and excitement as you waited for this box. Keep collecting a uh, signature of uh, Peter Kenneth. So I'm um, just putting it off to the side. Now well, let's see. First, first thing. Like this. So these are the paper replicas. Look how shiny the gold foiling is. I mean, just, just just look at it. I love me some shiny gold foiling. Shiny, shiny. It's the niffler in me, if you can't tell. I mean, it's so shiny, actually. I'm not looking at too much, I got a headache. <laughs> um, okay, so these are the paper replica things. So here first we got a very shiny library card. Student must be in possession of this card to borrow library books. And on the back, let's see. This isn't, right, I was wondering why I wasn't focusing. <laughs> it wasn't in focus, and I didn't have the right camera setting on. Oopsies. 
Anyway, um, a proper focus. Very lovely. Here we have the card number. I don't know if all the card numbers are the same or not. I have no idea. But, um, restricted section, attached photo here. Access th to the restricted section requires photo identification and professor note. Validated by IP? Does it say IP? I don't know. Or is it L? I don't know. I can't tell, but it's definitely a P for that one. What's a. Yeah, customized one, which you can add your photo to it. And here is a very shiny hole pass. Well, I know I've never had a hole pass like this. I've had like a whole note, <laughs> but yes. Um, anyway, so this one is issue to granted, uh, date granted, year, professor, reason for hall pass, mm, detailed explanation, additional notes, signature of professor. That's pretty snazzy. Pretty snazzy. Did I miss a love one? I'm just gonna keep on saying it. Okay, so here we have... Ooh. Schedule of classes. Now that's super shiny, that one. Okay, I'm just gonna sit up a minute. I was, I was uh, bending over. I could from my back, really, but there we go. Um, okay, this schedule belongs to... And we got all of these. I did have like little sneak uh, sneak peek at uh, the open video of other people because I couldn't I couldn't resist really. So um, it's been a while since I watched any. So I think he said there's like Easter eggs or something. Anyway, hmm, it's got a full week, isn't it? Let's see. Charms, divinations, study group, magical base, and astronomy on Monday. Tuesday, transfiguration, history, herbology, study group, flying. Wednesday, charms, potions, free, defense, astronomy. I thought normally, well, at least anyway, in, uh, in the books or something, they had astronomy only once a week. I thought. But anyway, um, Thursday got study group divinations, magical beasts, flying history, Friday transpiration potions, herbology, brain dragon high gloves, hmm. um, defense free, and extracurriculars, chess club, dueling club, and practice. I mean, I'd do the chess club and doing club, I wouldn't do uh, quidditch practice because like, I'm not sporty at all, so. <laughs> Let's see, what does the note say? Important information, breakfast, lunch, dinner, library hours, quiet hours. Well, yes, you'd want, you would want quiet hours between those times. Um, what does this say? Used at least three free periods for studying in the common room. Remember to reserve a table in the library for Monday, Wednesday, and Friday from 6 to 7.30 a.m. every week of term. School village trips, second Saturday of every month. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's here, so look at look at that little mandrake there. That's cute. <laughs> oh yeah, so that is this uh, schedule of classes. And on the back is uh, this crest thing they designed for this series of stuff. So I just put this back in the book, so I don't lose it or anything. 
That keeps nice and straight. Put that off to the side too. Next up, since I can see it peeking out from these wiggly worms, and it's right in front of me. These worms are gonna have to go. Okay, so I've got my uh, <laughs> uh, recycling box, and I'm just going to take a handful of worms and put them in here. Because, like, they are in the way, and I'm not leaving them on my floor because I forget they're on my floor and I don't want to clean it up later because that would mean cleaning it up later. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to show you next is this. I'm just going to shake it over my trash so I can take out all of them worms. Okay. Oh, there's one in the corner. And I like wigglies. Well, I mean, I like them enough, just not when they're going to fall everywhere. So. Well, at least these wiggly worms are recyclable. Yeah, I think I put most of these in my recycling box now. I can easily get those. Recycling, so my recycling box is the uh, Ninja Air Fryer product box. Mm -hmm. Not that it really matters or anything, but anyway, here we have some brown dragon hide gloves. They're not really dragon hide because dragons don't exist these days, but let me just put this up higher. Maybe I can look at it better. So these are very nice. They were purposely, I guess, order, <clears throat> ordered uh, an extra size too big or something, I believe they say. And they're very, uh, very big. I mean, My finger just goes up to half. I mean, if you look at this, see? My my finger, don't even... My pinky only goes up to here, see? All that is empty. So I'm thinking... I mean, it's a good prop and everything, but I'm thinking I'll, uh... put these on my... eBay or something. Even though I do quite like them. But I have no use. I don't really wear gloves often anyway, but I have no use for putting gloves I can't even wear. I have no space for it either, so I probably shouldn't keep them, unfortunately. But there we have it. Okay, so now we have. Ooh. There's the other one. There's the thing. Looks really cool, doesn't it? And this is a pen. So, like, let me just get a scrap. I mean, it's, it's a bit top-heavy because, uh, well, it's new what it's made of, it's like metal or something. Like, the, the hilt is very, very nice. But, uh, I'm guessing it's just a, a pull cap, obviously. It, it, it flows very smoothly, I have to say, it's very nice. I have to get used to the weight though, but uh, 
Also, it is a, uh, you twist it to, uh, put in another, uh, you know, those normal, like, biro pen refill and cartridge things. But, yes, this is so cool. Let's see if I can do a closer look. There you go. See, there's like a, I'm gonna say it's an eagle. I mean, it could be a raven. Or, no, actually, it's a phoenix, right? It's a phoenix, right? Duh. Um, and there's a unicorn also down there. The phoenix there, if I'm right. A very pretty gem. Super cool. It would be cool if they had a, you know, with like Godric Gryffindor etched on the pen bit, but anyway, that doesn't really matter. So that's that. So here is a pin. Chivalry. Persevero. Colleague Gentis. Well, I don't know Latin, but uh, anyway, that's pretty cool. Coat of arms there. That's what the word was. Coat of arms. Well, I'm very slow. And see, because that was like, that's the same coat that this one. That was on the back. But anyway, yes, that is pretty cool. Very good weight. Pretty good thinness as well. This will go up with my other Harry Potter things. Okay, let's um, do this. Pretty heavy. Another coat of arms thing right there. I think I should just do as well to just hold on this up. Pretty cool. It's cool uh, packaging. I mean, it, it's, it can be used as a prop on its own type of box. Obviously, this is supposed to be for like the Quidditch uh, ball box. In here, it's got two like. What are they? Yes, rubber things to uh, so you can stand. Have these stands. Very hefty. I'm right hand, so I'll have to pick this up with my left hand. But uh, yes, these are. Yeah, so my hands aren't really big enough really to do this, I don't think. Because like you're supposed to like Yeah. My hands really aren't just aren't big for that really, but I suppose it's it's kind of like that. It's also like a I guess an olden day technically used to do it without them touching, but my hands aren't really big enough for that. Or really to do that without falling. But it's a very good exercise on your wrist. I believe it was the wrist. It's on the cheat sheet, so I'll uh, read it out when I get there. But like, as you can see, the design of these are supposed to be reminiscent of the bludgers. It's like a, a Chinese thing this is, I believe. But anyway, that's pretty cool. So for now, 
after taking pictures anyway, I'm just going to close the and put these on the little rubber stain things. Because I'll put them back in the box after anyway. But put these on the So it can be displayed like that on the shelf. I'm definitely keeping those. Um, you can tell I worked out my my wrist or my hand because now I got the legs on my neck. But anyway, um, uh, let's do this. It is a velvety kind of a little drawstring bag here. Ooh, it is. I have no idea what it is. I mean, it's not a magnet, right? Uh, anyway, that's like a little plaque. I believe that's the right word. Plaque. Um, it is a, a word for special services to the school. You know, coincidentally, I actually have something similar like this. Um, it's in being inspiration to others. Um, I think I was like, it was the lower part of uh, secondary school. But we had an award ceremony kind of like that, and I've got a uh, wooden award thing on my desk. It's behind a few things, so I can't actually get to it right now to show you, but... Uh, Yes. This is like reminiscence of the uh, one that Tom bought, I believe. It's a very dark wood. It's very cool. I mean, I'm not sure what to use it for. I mean, it'd be good as a paperweight and for pictures, anyway. Oh, yes. So, I just put it there. Oh, and uh, so it's uh, if it, I can't really remember watching the openings on some of these boxes, but I believe it's um, Tom Riddle got one of these, and it came in a green velvety pouch. Anyway, that's that's just a random thing. Okay, so we have another pin, and it is. Oh, Albus Dumbledore. Though, if you notice, that's not really Dumbledore. It is the man himself. Peter Kenneth cosplaying as Albus Dumbledore. Well, that was a pretty amusing thing to include. Definitely going up on my Harry Potter pin wall anyway but yes i thought that was uh that's pretty good inclusion i thought nice touch let's see mm. I'm knocking everything over. Okay, so we've got three things left, I believe. Let's do this brown box. It's pretty heavy. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, maybe one's around there too. It's a very thick brown box. Okay, there we go. It's a nice... Okay, just a weird thing to notice, but it is very nice, thick cardboard. But anyway, but considering what was in it, I'm not surprised. Okay, so... I'm 
just got six shooting in because I had to. It's leaning forward is not good, but I'm, you know, I'm recording this on the floor. Here it is the Wit Strengthening Potion. Let's see, what does it say? Ginger root, armadillo bile, and scarab beetles. Potion use provides clarity to thoughts. And it's supposed to be an eagle, I believe. And look, it is an actual eagle. That looks so beautiful, doesn't it? The, the color in the shadow reminds me of an ultrasound. But, doesn't that look beautiful? I actually have no potions in my collection. I don't, didn't really plan on collecting any, but... Just look at that! I do love this swirly, like, pearl... pearl effect, and... I just love it! I mean, look at that! I'm totally amused by little things, but, uh... That is totally an ultrasound, what it looks like. That's so cool. I love it. <laughs> well, if I continue, I'll just be staring at this for a minute, so I'm gonna put it down. Because knowing me, I will stare at it for ages. Okay, so there's this one and the paper replica here. I'll just do this first. So here we have, like, note cards. So, I don't really want to get them out. They come with four envelopes, as you see. Very good size envelopes. On the inside, it looks like this. Like there's a scroll on the inside. And on the back is the... Well, that's the hood bit. So then you fold it in front, like a robe. Then you'll see... Like, there's the knife and claw one. There's the Slytherin one. Gryffindor? An awful class. It's just like, doing this one-handed is not easy. So. Okay. Write right a message, you fold over the sides, like where the, where the score line is, then you'll get to the front of the robe. On the front, and it's like opening the robe, yes. So I'm just gonna put it back in the thing. I don't wanna, I wanna keep these straight. I don't actually really plan on using them. Unless I, you know, I don't know, photocopied it or something. Then I don't want to keep it in my collection, you know? But I don't want to use it. Okay, so I'll just one for one. Okay. Where am I going to put this? Let's see, I'll just keep the box back there for now. That over there. I'll just put it off to the side here. Okay. So lastly, I open this an hour after. Oh, that's pity. The box. I can't really keep the back of the box. I don't know why, but it's got. I mean, it could be because of where the pin was. It might have been where the pin was. It's got two massive dents in the box. The inside should be okay. Hopefully. But uh, yes, it's got a big Slytherin S on the front. It's got those. Is serpents on the back? Well, there's serpents basically everywhere, right? If you didn't tell. Mm -hmm. Okay, so. Luckily, the star from seems to have kept it safe. Uh, 
And that was not meant to be a pun, by the way. Because it, in fact, is... Ta-da! A safe. I mean, that totally was not meant to be a pun. I promise. But it's totally possible. Totally possible. Um, this styrofoam is sticking to me now. I'm just going to make sure that none of it goes on the floor. It won't come off my finger. Okay. Let's take the safe out. Safe is safe out of thing. I'm going to put the styrofoam in the trash. Hopefully I can get most of it in the trash without it completely falling on the floor or sticking to my finger. I like to stick to my finger. Oh, that's really annoying. Um, let's see. There we go. I just wonder if I should keep the box. Or at least I might keep parts of the box. Okay, well those are on the floor. Uh, styrofoam, that's on the floor too. Oh, the styrofoam is so annoying. Now it's this pretty cool. Look at this. On the box. It's got some runes on it. And on the flappy bit. Yes, here's the box. If you didn't see it properly. I thought that's a pretty neat box. Designed by the Wizardry Workshop. I think mostly all of the art is designed by Jenny from the Wizardry work Workshop. I think so. I believe so, anyway. I shall look at the uh, cheat sheet in a moment. But here we have it. The safe. Currently, I'm using my Niffler that I got from oh, what's it called? Oh, Luke Crabble. Why is there some styrofoam on this? Right, anyway. This is pretty cool. It's a, well, I'm not even showing you, am I? Hang on. Let's put this box here so you can see. As you see, there's a place where you put the coins or the notes. Here's where you... The rubber thing, you, rubber stopper thing, you, you get it out. It looks like a, a brick thing. Words are not good for right now. Um, it's like a... Like a cross section. No. Um, no, that'll be the right word or not. Anyway, it's a... Just think of like a... A cell in a dungeon. Or something. Kind of reminds me of that. That's pretty cool. And it looks like an actual safe. Because it is a safe. Duh. But it's a, it's a cool prop as well. It'd be cool for pictures. Super cool. Hmm, there's some stray hairy bits I need to pick off. I don't know where the hairy bits are. Um, if I don't pick it off now, I'm gonna forget to do it later. Right. Anyway, now, I do wonder why there are hairy bits. I mean, If you look closely, just on the edge of the S and the snake there, right there, there's a hair, which I can't really get up, I already got up one, and there's a hair, in, like crossing the middle of the S, like right there. I'll just see if I can get tweezers to get it out, but it looks like it's kind of painted on there. It's probably by accident, but it's a, it's a very close up. 
thing, which you can't really tell. I mean, I think it's a hair. I'm not sure what it is. I might have... No, it's still there. I was going to say I might have gone in and out, but I just pushed it in. Well... Well, it's a very far away, I mean, close up, um, thing you won't notice unless, like, you're super close, like, like that. So I don't mind so much. It's, uh, I don't think I'm going to take that close pictures. Well, after the initial pictures I'm going to take after this. But anyway. That. Oh, the tripod is getting caught in my hair. I, I'm just going to uh, briefly ask. It's just so beautiful. Anyway, I totally myself. Um, so inside we've got this paper shoe sheet thing. That's everything. So this is the last thing. The keep collecting box. item in this box represents a house and a specific character trait for which that house is known. As you experience these items, may you remember the importance of the character traits that empowered good friends to accomplish great things. Yeah, hiccup there. <laughs> okay, so we have the sword pen, which is up there. Oh, it's blurry, isn't it? Almost blurry, but still. So the sword pen. These are the uh, the lion section, by the way. These two things. So, lions are brave. That bravery was evident on many occasions when the sword presents itself to house lions. All right, where was I? I was interrupted. I got sidetracked by taking all the pictures. So, um. Use the sword pen with bravery. Hmm. Okay. Um, next up is the Medal of Chivalry pin. Well, treat bravery, treat chivalry. Um, the Lion House founder has mar was marked by integrity and readiness to help others. May we be swift like the brooms on which we ride to help and cheer on those who need support and assistance. For your outstanding acts of service, we bestow upon you this Medal of Chivalry. <clears throat> so next up is the Badger too. So dragon hide gloves. Badgers are known for their diligence and work ethic. Hard workers need a quality dragon hide glove to protect them from the dangers of poisonous plants and magical beasts. These dragon hide gloves are ready for your next assignment. Trait hard work. Boating or bowding? I think it's bowding. Uh, balls. Trait patience. Badgers display patience. Bowding balls are used for relaxation and focus. These were designed to resemble the mischievous iron sports balls of the wizarding sport, i.e. bludgers. Uh, if you display patience while learning to control the bounding balls, it will improve your focus. To remain on your broomstick when flying iron spheres come your when flying iron spheres come your way. I can't read. Okay, so next up, got the eagle stuff. So we've got school documents, trait of wisdom. 
Uh, wisdom is the application of knowledge. Hungry for wisdom, eagles are eager to wholeheartedly engage in classes. Your class schedule, library card, and hall pass should set you on the course to wizarding wisdom. Wit strengthening potion. Trait wit. Uh, eagles possess mental sharpness and intelligence. Wit sharpening... I can't even read. Strengthening potion. Enhances the eagle's natural ability to achieve un the unthinkable. Uh, the serpents. Service award. Serpents are ambitious and remain focused on achieving their goals. Some achievements are worthy of receiving rewards. Display your, your school service award with honor. Coin bank. Serpents are resourceful in difficult situations. The secret chamber is a clever place to save things for future purposes. This coin bank will help you plan for your for the future or provide a secret chamber for your valuables. So you can only really fit coins or notes in there. You can't really fit anything else. But anyway, since it won't open, you know, like a door, so that's still that's a cool coin bank. I'll place it with my niffler probably on the shelf. Uh, anyway, um, this trait resourcefulness and the service award was trait ambition. Okay, next up, we got the houses. Greeting cards. Each house is stationary is represented in this collection. Who will you influence with your written words? And headmaster pin. The headmaster's office is lined with portraits of previous headmasters. As a bonus item, enjoy this portrait pin of our favorite headmaster, or is it? Keep collecting. So here we've got uh, the wizarding trunk. All items organized and brought to you, brought to life by the wizarding trunk. The Potter collector. All items conceptualized, curated, and approved by Peter Kenneth and the Wizardry Workshop, all graphic design, product labels, and packaging by Wizardry Workshop. So do go check all of those out. And this is, was, an awesome one-off subscription box, unless they decide to do a one more one-off box. Anyway, this is it's pretty cool. Personally, I don't really have need or use of these, so they will go on my eBay for any other collector that would like to house them. I mean, it's a cool concept. I can't use them. And obviously, they don't fit because my hands are either the small or the medium size. I don't really know. But uh, those are just my host on me and like my fingers don't even really come up halfway on it but um still that it's all awesome awesome stuff and here's a clip about this when i opened it i uh, recorded it while i was taking pictures so i just looked at the back so here's a clip about that i just looked at the back of this the headmaster portrait and I got a signed copy. Two out of ten. That is so cool. For some reason, I just totally was not expecting to actually be lucky to get a randomly put in one of these. I think it was anyway. It's been a long time since I, since I watched that intro video for that. Uh, intro info video video about that, but that is so cool. Awesome, awesome. Then I totally forget about checking out, checking the back of this, and it's super, like textured or detailed on the uh, frame. But anyway, I thought that was. That's a pretty cool thing to include in a box like this. It's very awesome. So that's everything. So thank you for watching. Next time for more.
Ring the doorbell for notifications. Do you go check out the Potter Collector and the Wizardry, Wizardry Workshop. And obviously the Wizarding Trunk. Uh, over and out.